Hi, this is Han. While ago, I read about a manga called Life with Beautiful, which is about a school shooting core. It kind of reminded me of my high school, which actually had laser rifle shooting club. We all know there are many mangas and animes featuring guns, who put that as one of the classics, or Girls Frontline, which is gaining popularity in Japan, as well as all other shooters. As a guy born in Japan, I've always felt that guns are something out of ordinary thing. Yes, basically guns are hard to get stuff in Japan. But hey, do you know just how hard it is? It's rather little known, even among Japanese people. In this video, I introduce you all the steps to legally have a gun in Japan. Under Japanese law, only shotguns and rifles are allowed to keep. No handguns. Shotguns and rifles have different requirements, with the latter being a little more strict. So in this video, I go through steps for getting a shotgun. The procedure can be divided into two major parts. The first is getting permission for a gun handling lecture and target test. Second is getting a license for actually buying one. So here start the first step, which is Firearms 101 Lecture. The first step is to attend official lectures of laws associated to firearms, as well as basic handling and strange. It's regularly held at police stations. You reserve a seat, pay application fee, attend the lecture, and at last, you'll take an exam. When you pass the exam, you'll receive a certificate. And that's just the beginning. You only have three years until it expires. Finish the whole procedure, or you have to take the class again. Step 2. Prove yourself. Next, you apply for the permission to take lectures for gun handling and target tests. The paperwork here includes a copy of your census register, personal history, and health certificate. Basically, you have to show that you are not associated with any organized crime group, have not been accused of illegal possession of weapons, or armed violence with a designated number of years, are not with any substance abuse, nor mental disorder. Step 3. Shooting lecture and- Wait a second. Before that, you have something to do. That is... Getting a permission for ammo purchase. Yes, you need to do paperwork each time you buy ammo. At this point, you finally have a chance to hold a gun yourself. During the lecture, you will learn how to handle a gun, as well as basic manners of shooting range. After that, you do clay target shooting. You must hit a certain number of targets to pass the test. Step 4. Get your gun. If you pass the shooting test, congrats! You are now eligible for submitting an application for purchasing a gun. Documents to submit include another health certificate. For the permission for purchase, you have to meet certain requirements. The gun has to meet the criterion. Only gun locker and ammo locker. One certification for each gun. As for rifle permission, it's even harder. You must have 10 years of hunting experience to apply for. By the way, the sum of application fees is about $550. As we have walked through, Japan has a strict regulation of gun control, and in principle, it's open to only hunters and shooting sports players. But recently, as aging of hunter population in Japan continues, demand for young newcomers are rapidly growing. And with the emergence of mangas that are focused on hunting experiences, like Sanzoku Diary, public attention on hunting is slowly growing. I'm actually guessing in a few years, we may see a hunting anime of modern settings. And when you watch one, remember this video and imagine that the characters have gone through the whole procedure. Thank you for watching, Hunt signing out.